The Unification Church of Rev. Sung Young Moon had close connections to the KCA, the Korean Central Intelligence Agency, since its creation by the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency. Four of Moon's early leaders were Army officers with KCIA credentials, and Moon's most influential aide, Dr. Bo Hai Pak, was liaison between the CIA and the KCIA, making numerous trips to the NSA headquarters at Fort Meade, Maryland. Moon's church is fabulously rich, with at least 600 front groups. It purchased the Washington Times newspaper for over a billion dollars. Moon has claimed that he is the reincarnation of Jesus, Buddha, and Mohammed. He preaches love, but attacks his critics mercilessly, and uses the terminology of violence and apocalyptic revelation. In March of 2004 in Washington, D.C., the Reverend Moon was crowned as the Prince of Peace in a ceremony at the Dirksen Senate Office Building in the presence of 86 U.S. congressmen and 26 U.N. ambassadors. The Children of God cult in Argentina has been involved in ritual abuse of children for decades, but has evaded conviction despite voluminous, undeniable evidence and victim testimony. David Moses Berg founded the church in the 1970s and advocated using sex to entice new members into the church. Berg's own children and former members have stated that they were forced into sex between the ages of four and ten years old with high-level church members. The victims also testify to a sexual blackmail and infiltration campaign aimed at some of the most powerful men in Europe, particularly in the media, legal community, and government. Powerful figures of political and financial support for the family include Libyan President Muammar Gaddafi, Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet, and King Juan Carlos of Spain. The sect currently estimates its numbers at 300,000 converts in 60 countries. In 1992, the Family Children's Choir sang in the White House for Barbara Bush to kick off a Christmas show in the East Room. The sect also sang for George Bush Sr. after he toured the damage of Hurricane Andrew in South Florida. The Cult Awareness Network was founded two decades ago in the wake of the mass suicides in Guyana that claimed the lives of 890 of Jim Jones' followers. The nonprofit national organization assisted the desperate loved ones of people caught up in the cult scene. The organizations targeted by CAN were the KKK, the Aryan Nations, dozens of obscure fundamentalist and evangelical Christian groups, the Church of Satan, the Moonies, followers of political extremist Lyndon LaRouche, and the Church of Scientology. An organized blizzard of lawsuits produced judgments totaling $5 million and led to Cannes financial ruin. In 1996, their logo, furniture, and phone number were auctioned off by a bankruptcy judge. Scientology lawyers took possession of 20 years' worth of Cannes' highly sensitive case files containing information on thousands of people who had turned to Can for help in rescuing their friends and relatives. Scientology is known for harassing its enemies and retaliating against suppressives, people who ridicule Scientology teachings. These teachings include L. Ron Hubbard's decree that humans are made up of clusters of spirits called Thetans, who were banished to Earth about 75 million years ago by an evil galactic ruler named Xenu. Hubbard was a pulp fiction writer who'd served in the Navy and hit it big in 1950 by coming up with the concept of Dianetics that he dubbed a modern science of mental health that remained at the core of Scientology practice. One of its staples is a simplified lie detector called an e-meter which is supposed to measure electrical changes in the skin while subjects discuss intimate details of their lives. Hubbard claimed that unhappiness sprang from mental aberrations called engrams, and that counseling sessions with the e-meter could help rid them of them.
Scientologists refer to the extensive and expensive process of clearing the mind in order for this to occur as auditing. But during the 1970s, the IRS conducted some auditing of its own and accused L. Ron Hubbard of skimming millions of dollars from the church, laundering it through dummy corporations, and stashing it in Swiss bank accounts. Although he died before the case was adjudicated, his wife and ten other former church leaders went to prison in the early 1980s for infiltrating, burglarizing, and wiretapping dozens of private and government agencies in an attempt to block their investigations.